So, a topic that I wanted to touch on was, is it worse to grow up your whole life with epilepsy, or almost your whole life, or for you to start having epilepsy as an older person? And in my mind, it is worse as the latter. Now, people may disagree, but for me, um... I never experienced having a car, driving, um, you know, being independent, living my own life uh, successfully, completing college. It was like a gradual thing that happened to me. They started off not too serious and then slowly got more serious and then I was able to take it. In, uh, in strides and um, with God helping me um, but to suddenly have your freedom just taken from you you're diagnosed and that driver's license that job uh, anything that you're suddenly unable to do in a blink of an eye just taken from you um, that, that sounds a lot worse so I uh, have been in contact with some people who were diagnosed in their 20s or um, things like that and they've given me their thoughts and um, some agree, some don't. Um, some think that they were glad that they got to live most of their life normal and then, you know, when... Uh, I fit them, they just took it one step at a time, um, and got help as best they could. So everyone's severity of seizures, as I've mentioned, is different. I think the main problem for everyone living with epilepsy are the way we feel, and I'm not speaking for everyone because I don't know how everyone in the world who deals with epilepsy feels, is the things that we can't do, sometimes they really get to us. Um, and then what I do is I focus on like what I can do, you know? And I try and make a point to do almost everything I can do. <laughs> um, in my whole life, I've I've tried to live normally, and I've been pretty blessed to be able to do that. Um, so, with that being said, obviously I don't know anyone's situation, but it's actually scientifically proven that um, if you try and focus on the good, if you rely on the positive and don't dwell on the negative, your life will be better. And uh, that's the way I was raised. And that doesn't mean I don't have breakdowns, because I assure you I do. Um, but then I think of everything God's given me and everything God's done. my dog um and suddenly it's okay and I can't explain it but uh it's like I'm I'm okay if God never heals me from epilepsy I'm I'm gonna be okay because he's taken care of me for this long and I've had two to three near-death experiences And he saved me, so I have to believe that there's a plan in what seems to be like chaos sometimes. That's my story.